everyone. Welcome to a quick tutorial brought to you by VideoSchoolOnline.com. Today I am showing you how to add textures in Photoshop. I thought this would be a great tutorial because it's something that I remember I had to look up a lot when I was starting to use Photoshop. And I was creating this, actually, save the date for my wedding coming up and I was adding some textures to the background and it's actually really easy and it makes the entire composition look way more detailed and really steps up the ball game, makes it more professional. As you can see here while I click on and off, uh, it, it looks a lot better. So let me show you the process of getting a texture and placing it into Photoshop. It's actually really simple. The easiest way to do it is just go to Google, type in texture, go to the images. Now, what I would do is under search tools, just click that button and under usage rights, select labeled for, for reuse. So this means that all the photos are now labeled for you to use however you feel free. You don't have to pay for them. You can use them however you want. So you can see that there's lots and lots of textures. Another thing is to click under size and then go to larger than. Depending on how big your composition is, um, will it will do? It will. You can choose one of these options. You know, picking something above uh, two megapixels is great, and that's going to be super high quality for what I'm doing. So then you basically just find a texture that you like. So let me just pick something like uh, this wood texture that's kind of cool. And you could search in Google for wood texture or grunge texture or something like that. Then just open up the image and then you can just simply drag and drop it to your Photoshop project. So then you can just scale it or rotate it so that it fills the background or whatever you're adding a texture to. So then, because I don't want it to just look like that, which is actually kind of cool, I'm going to first turn off this other texture that I had on. Then I'm just going to click on this layer I added. Then up in the blend mode, I'm going to change it to soft light. And now you have a nice little wood texture behind our text. One thing you can do too though is because this is showing a little bit of the the beige, the brown of the wood, I can just change this to a black and white image, just going up to image, adjustment, desaturate, and now it's just a black and white image, so it's just adding the texture, it's not adding any color because I chose that color for a reason. And that is a very simple way to add a texture. You can also scroll through any of these other blend modes and find something that you like. You can even, uh, if you have a keyboard with uh, that you're using, you can click shift and the plus or minus buttons to scroll through these blend modes, which is kind of cool. So maybe something like color burn, that's pretty cool. That might look a little bit better since the wood texture isn't kind of, it, it, it's very simple. And you can just kind of scroll through and you see that by adding a texture, you can change the, enti the entire dynamic of this project that I'm working on. So that's pretty cool. So that's how to add texture in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in another tutorial. Hey YouTube, you like that video? Well, please subscribe to the channel for more. Check out our website for articles, webinars, books, and more. And of course, check out our online course library, ranging on topics from video making, motion graphics, photography, starting a business, freelancing, to beer brewing, resume writing, adopting a cat, and much more.